hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl a zinne williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to the channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys so it's the first day of the second month of the year 2021 like play like play the year is you know moving like that yes but the beautiful thing is is the month of love you know valentine's day in about what 13 days or yeah 13 days or so so yeah that's that's it happy new month to every one of you so let's dive right into the gist so you guys know that there's been a lot of drama with your big brother niger faves um but as it's custom with a lot of big brother niger people wherever they go drama follows them so as this whole drama with it with kid wire erica and kaisha was going on this happened at praises um birthday party so somebody now released this clip and said that erica ignored neo who is also an ex-housemate at the party that um, e um neil wanted to hug erica and erica ignored him and they were now saying oh because maybe it's because of her beef with v and all that yes that one you know people were talking about it but i didn't really buy it and i know erica was super super friendly with everybody almost almost let me use the word almost everybody there and she never really had an ish with neil neil was her guy in the house so why would she now you know snub him now until i decided to do some research you know me whenever i want to get something you know i go all out and i found the real full video and then i realized that this poor actually put out a half video again now guys you can see it like this is the full video i mean look at erica hugging neil look at this is exactly the full thing the full um this is actually the real thing that happened or the full version of this video and i'm asking myself why would people deliberately put out half videos like this to push a certain narrative like they did before like i don't understand is it that people just enjoy causing issues with people you know i don't understand and then they were now saying that that neo's tweet was about erica and all that ah, people of god i tire now still on erica last night okay yesterday she put out this tweet and said now the month is ending let us okay let me read that again now the month is ending let all the madness end with it don't ever involve me in any business that doesn't concern me i am ready for next month and the rest of the year to success and meaningful endeavors now she put this out yesterday being the last day of um january now with this tweet, you obviously know, except you're a daft person, Sha, you already know that she has put it out. If it does not concern Erica, nobody should tag Erica to it. Now, this morning, she put out this tweet and said, To my babies, I'm sorry I've, I ever gave you reasons to be distracted. This time is all about focus and unity. No more distractions, no more scholarships, no... um." Okay, no more scholarships. Don't forget, we are powerful. Thank you and love you. Have a great day. Now, who who is the distraction? Who? <laughs> ah, if I talk, like people be like, ah, is it no? You are brewing trouble. I'm not. But seriously, who? I mean, with everything that happened, you know, some few days back, we obviously know who the distraction is. I might be wrong though, but when I read this stuff, she was like, you know, focus. Basically, focus on her. Focus on Erica. Don't focus on the shipping. Don't focus on, you know, whatever it is. Focus on Erica. That that face is gone and all that. She even apologized that she actually gave um, a lot of her fans reason to be distracted and all that. So, uh, is it kid where there is a distraction? Let me just say what's on my mind. Because let me say what's on my mind and free my mouth. Is it kid where there is a distraction? I be Erica has not re re labeled kid where as a distraction. <laughs> i mean it's gonna be the first time we've seen an ex housemate do that remember when um lilo came out and then labeled eric a distraction you know but i'm i'm i'm, I'm happy for all of them you know moving on you know um being happy 
you know um working on their brands and it's it's okay by me i mean if they are cool with themselves then really fans should dress i think basically um she put this out because a lot of fans wanted her wanted if I, okay let me just use it let me just say it like this a lot of fans wanted that relationship for erica more than erica wanted the relationship for herself because like i said i always say this fans always have they always have their own hidden agenda because they want to push this agenda on you and if you let them or your is your case and sorry is your case that's all i have to say about this you know um erica has come out you know plain now a lot of people were like oh she didn't really come out plain to tell them if there was a relationship or not she has come out plain to say if you love erica focus on erica point blank period periodism periodically and that's it okay still on fans so um this morning dora uploaded this picture on her instagram page and tagged it um and said the happiest people don't have the best of everything they just make the best out of everything happy new month now i mean if you go into the comment section a lot of people were you know admiring how beautiful she looks in this beautiful brown dress a lot of people were you know it was uh, um it was really um a happy lively comment section until one person one child of anger and brimstone decided to bring some sort of i don't i don't i don't even know what to call it you know how can you just wake up go to someone else's comment section and just decide to be a nuisance how how well the person now um put out this comment and said who is the most endowed dorothy or nengi now this is the height of foolishness like even if you want to write something like this will you go to either of the ladies will you go to their instagram comment section to write this that's rubbish now what what is your aim you know coming to dorothy's comment section and asking who is the most endowed dorothy or nengi how you see how fans always want to ignite trouble, you know, ignite um, issues with, um, with with this housemate and all. Well, I love the reply Dorothy gave. She said, two blessed queens, comparison is killer of joy. Stay happy. So basically, Dorothy is saying she is a queen. Nengi is a queen. All the ladies are queens. No there's really no point in comparing the both of them because comparison will take away your joy which is true when you start comparing yourself you know with with people you will definitely start looking at yourself in the kind of way that you won't even appreciate the things you have i love the fact that dorothy shut down that narrative that she was trying to create or shut down whatever it is she was trying to do yeah but it still beats me why people would do this put data on my phone and all i want to do is to go to people's comments exhibiting your stupidity that's what that's what all this is like it's crazy it's really really crazy now moving on as i was trying to get over all the drama that happened for the past few days then um i saw this another person trying to ignite trouble on twitter now this happened was it yesterday or so yes and this person tweeted and said between Timaya and Duncan Mighty, Timaya is a well-known Nigerian musician, and also Duncan Mighty is also a well-known Nigerian musician. Both of them are from the South South area in Nigeria. Um, Duncan Mighty is a Portacod guy, and Timaya is from Bayelsa. So yeah. So uh, this person said between Timaya and Duncan Mighty, who would win in a ten versus ten hits battle? Now Timaya was not happy with this R he was not happy with this at all and he tweeted this and said it'd be like say una they reason me less less nobody should ever put my name or compare me to rubbish again what disrespect ah timaya decided to choose violence on a very peaceful day i don't know this timaya's response I don't see timaya and Doka mighty having like this 10 versus 10 hits battle as a bad thing you know but maybe Timaya, this got him on a very wrong day. Maybe he woke up on the wrong side of the bed and he chose violence. You know, like Kadibi said um, yesterday, sometimes it's good to wake up and you just choose violence. You know. So yeah, maybe he just decided to do that because maybe he felt like seeing me finish. Or oh, wait, 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 wait. I just thought of something. Maybe Timaya thinks that Duncan Mighty is not his match. 
maybe Duncan might see that he should be compared with the likes of maybe Wizkid uh, or David Doe or I don't know. I might be wrong, but this is what it's, this tweet is actually telling us. Okay, guys, that's it from me. But before I go, Nigerian Idol is, will be back on our screens very, very soon. And it will be showing on DSTV channel 198 and Go TV channel 29. Yes, guys. Okay, guys. So before I go, people of God, please do not forget to check out my other channel. I put out a video there yesterday. Yes, guys, go check it out and show me some love. I'm going to put out um, the link in the description box and also pin it in the comment section let me know what you guys think about all the gist i gave you guys in the comment section thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video till i come your way again i remain your darling girl az Nay williams have yourselves a beautiful day Bye, guys.